Angie Horkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council is here to share some Cajun recipes just in time for Mardi Gras, which is right yeah, around the corner. Not very far You're away. You were just in New Orleans. Oh, oh, I was week? last week. My kind of my first time there. I've been there once for work. So we just went for a couple hours, but it's interesting city. city and they're getting cleaning it up getting all decorated for Mardi Gras boy. They they live for that. <laughs> great food too. Yes, a lot of great food. So these are beef based Cajun recipes and we have a whole recipe collection kicking Cajun recipes. Um, but of course jambalaya very That's very traditional to New Orleans, Cajun. Let's, let's put it on um, the bowl here because okay. we can't so, see the inside there. I've got two different beef items in here. The recipe calls to start with a pound of chuck roast that you chunk up yourself, but why do that when you can buy a pound of sumi? Toss it with some Cajun seasoning like this slappy mama I got. Slappy mama? You slappy mama. <laughs> <laughs> Toss it with the chuck roast, brown it up, pull it out, and then a whole ring of a beef, beef smoked sausage sliced okay. up. Toss that with some Cajun seasoning, brown it up, and then add all your great ingredients, like a can of diced tomatoes, a couple cups of beef broth, some garlic, uh, Worcestershire, salt, gumbo filet powder, um, which if you can't find in the supermarket, I got on Amazon just for a couple bucks, four okay. bucks, but Amazon Prime. Um, and you can make it as hot as you want? Make it as hot as you want. Put in some hot sauce, some crushed red pepper, black pepper, but you can customize it because my family's very Midwestern. We don't like it super spicy, and it's still family approved. All Everybody right. loved it. Second recipe, a po' boy sandwich with top sirloin steak. So instead of like a shrimp po' boy, I got a beef po' boy, of course. So I took the sirloin and I just pan fried it. I coated it with some espresso powder, um, which you can get right in the supermarket. It's really, really good. And boy, when you're grilling it or pan frying it, it smells I awesome. I never, never heard of it. So I did that and then I let it rest and then sliced it up. Then in a second pan, make a it's called a red eye gravy because it's got a little more espresso powder in it. But start with a roux of butter and flour, and then add a little pancetta ham, some diced onion, some beef broth, Creole seasoning, so a little different seasoning. That's got a little kick to it. And then um, a little hot pepper sauce, if you like. And then I'm just gonna put the steak in the sauce. Just coat it all and up. then coat it all up and then this is going to go in our hoagie or our pool boy sandwich buns and then you could of course top lettuce and tomato i guess is the traditional mm -hmm. way to have a pool boy so that's what i've got for us here for lunch Wonderful. so two great beef recipes we've got the whole recipe collection but go to beeftips.com and click on as seen on tv Ooh. and you'll find these recipes and we've got a link to all of the cajun recipes right there also and if this isn't enough, you're going to be back at 4 o'clock with a couple I'm of... I'm going to be back with two more recipes. All right. All right. That's boiling over. Let's turn it on. <laughs> Thank you.